Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of another work week. Hope you're doing well. And we're going to ring in the end of the work week by talking about the Seahawks running back room a little bit. And specifically, we're going to talk about who should start. And obviously, this who should start discussion doesn't have nearly as much behind it as the quarterback discussion. We, we've spent a lot of time this offseason talking about who's going to start between Drew Locke and Geno Smith, and uh, now that Baker Mayfield's off the table, I think we all pretty well know that it's going to be one of those two guys. There's really nobody else, so we're, we're obviously spending a lot of time thinking about that. I think a little bit of less time is being spent on thinking about who starts at running back, because it. whenever somebody asks who I think starts at running back, I generally say, well, it doesn't matter because both guys get to play. It doesn't matter who starts. Uh, you could start a guy for one play and then take him out and put the other running back in for the whole rest of the game. Yeah, one guy started, but the other guy got way more work in. So does it really matter? At first blush, I guess not. But it kind of got me thinking utilize this running back room that we have this year how we should divvy up responsibilities how we should uh, divvy up snaps and yes who should start it's pretty much a two-man race for Shad Penny and uh, Kenneth Walker the third Travis Homer is what he is but that is not a starting running back DJ Dallas same thing um Josh Johnson yeah no uh it, it's Penny or Walker the, the, those other guys I mentioned are intri intriguing, but um, it should certainly be a battle between two guys in Penny and Walker. So, ordinarily, it would be pretty easy to determine which running back should start, and it would also be pretty easy to determine which running back should see the field in certain situations. You want your third down back to play on more third downs, which means you want the other running back the guy who isn't as prolific a pass catcher or a blocker to play more on early downs. But that doesn't really help us here, does it? I mean, Rashad Penny, he has 23 career catches. He's never had more than 10 catches in a season. Uh, he has, he averages like slightly more than half a catch per game he's played in. But he has improved as a blocker. Kenneth Walker, well, he wasn't much of a receiver in college, but... His blocking leaves a lot to be desired. So that doesn't really help narrow things down that much. You look at both guys and you say, well, they're both workhorse type backs. Penny, theoretically, because he hasn't had the chance to be a workhorse back in the NFL yet because he's gotten hurt too much and he's been behind players like Chris Carson. Um, at the end of the year last year, we got to see a little bit of it. So... Theoretically, though, both guys are giving you early down work. They're guys who can take the ball on first and ten, guys who can take the ball on second and eight and get you positive yards towards trying to get that first down. Um, not, neither guy stands out as a receiver, uh, a, a receiver out of the backfield. Now, Penny probably can do it fine. Uh, I think a lot of the reasons why he didn't catch very many passes in previous years had more to do with how the team was using him and the quarterback he was playing with and the situations he was put in but I don't get the sense at this point that it's anything over the top and Kenneth Walker the third it's kind of the same thing he didn't do it but it was generally accepted by most people that he he could do it it just wasn't being asked of him in um college so that, I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot to us. I, I, you would have to give it to Penny then, right? You would have to say maybe Penny's the better third down back because he seems like he's a better blocker. But either way, neither guy is anywhere near as good a third down back as Travis Homer. Travis Homer has proven to be a competent pass catcher and a great blocker. Some people think he's one of the best blocking running backs in the NFL. So at the end of the day, you can talk about this third down stuff for a while, but neither guy holds a candle to Travis Homer. 
I'm not sure either guy is as good as DJ Dallas as a third down running back. So assuming that those guys are going to get those snaps at least a large majority of the time, where does that leave these guys? Who do you want to start? How much action do you want to see them get? So we're going to have to find another way to divvy up uh, responsibilities and carries between these two guys. So I, I have a couple different thoughts here. On the one hand, I don't expect Rashad Penny to be here in 2020, uh, 2023. Uh, he's got one year on his deal. He signed a one-year contract. If he has a big year, he's going to want big money, and I don't think we're going to give it to him because we just drafted Kenneth Walker. If he has a bad year, then we're not going to want to bring him back because it was a bad year. Maybe if his year occupies like this little sweet spot where he's good but gets hurt a lot, that's about it. So I don't think Penny is going to be back next year. So you might want to ride him a little bit while you have him because Rashad Penny's touched the ball like 303 times in his NFL career. 300 and three career touches. That's very light workload. So you can ride him. You can uh, get what you can out of him. Excuse me. And basically just say, okay, well, odds are good. You're not going to be here in 2023. So in 2022, we're going to give you every opportunity to, dis to display what you are. And we're going to give you the starts. We're going to give you most of the carries, most of the action. And we're going to allow Kenneth Walker III, who is a rookie, to slowly acclimate himself to the NFL game and get limited action and maybe expand his role a little bit as the season goes on. But we're going to allow Kenneth Walker to slowly work his way in. Now, I don't know if Kenneth Walker III is less explosive than Rashad Penny, but that would be one of the things that really drew attention to Rashad Penny last year, how explosive he was. At the end of the season, when he got things going, he was busting long plays. It wasn't just, like last year, he averaged about six and a half yards a carry. It wasn't just six yards, six yards, seven yards, six yards, seven yards. It was, you know, two yards, three yards, two yards, 50 yards. It, 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 a lot of big plays. So... You, you, with that being the case, you would kind of prefer another running back to be the grinder who gets you like, you know, five yards, five yards, five yards, and then you bring in Penny to be like your home run threat because he was so good at being a home run threat last season. He had, I think, what, five, five of his touchdowns might have been long ones. I can't, I can't remember for sure, but he busted a lot of big carries, but Kenneth Walker III also busted a lot of big carries in college, so I don't think you can say that he's less explosive than Penny. And basically, at the end of the day, it's it's kind of hard to really parse anything out from some of this, right? Like, like the explosiveness factor makes me want to have Penny come off the bench when the defense is worn down from Kenneth Walker, but... The fact that Kenneth Walker the third is going to be a rookie and Penny's got this experience and we probably only got Penny for one more year kind of makes me want to ride him and then use Walker sparingly because he's going to be here a few years. Um, I think that ultimately Penny should start. Penny should get most of the action at first and then maybe that changes as the year goes on. So for whatever it's worth, I say Rashad Penny should start. I say he should get a majority of the carries, but Walker should be seeing a decent amount of action even in week one. And as the year goes on, we may expand his role. And I think that until injuries happen, which, I mean, very likely, right? <clears throat> That's how we should look at things. Penny's the guy. We're going to let him put himself on display for 2022, try to get that money in the offseason. It probably won't be from us, pretty much no matter what, I don't think. So Kenneth Walker is going to be brought along slowly. It is his first NFL year, and we're going to try to preserve him for future years when we're really going to ride him because both these guys are kind of like bell cow workhorse running backs. They're not guys who, um, they're, they're not scat backs. They're not situational backs. They're, they're grinders. And 
th there's another discussion to have here, the possibility of maybe uh, trading Rashad Penny before the trade deadline this year if he gets off to a good start. But that's a conversation for another time, and it's not worth having until Rashad Penny actually does something worth trade value. But uh, for now, I say Penny is the lead man. Walker is going to serve a supplementary role, and you're still going to have some snaps for Homer and Dallas on third down until one of those guys proves they can be a really good third down back. And based off what we've seen so far, I don't really think that's going to happen right now. Maybe Penny, because he showed last year that he was a pretty good blocker, but there, there's obviously more to it than that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have a preference? Do you think it matters who starts? The only way I could see it really mattering who starts would just be kind of a mentality thing, an ego thing. Like Rashad Penny's the veteran who had such a great finish to the year last year. He probably feels like I deserve to start. Walker just got here. He'll probably be more understanding of a backup role. So I guess that plays into it as well. But uh, you want to get your best guys out there. And I I think I would put, I think I would feature Penny. So if you guys disagree, sound off. If you guys agree, sound off. If you guys have a alternate solution, sound off as well. All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks. I'll be on Twitch later tonight in all likelihood. See you there.